What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we're looking at a Ciesco inspired tiger belly knife. Now I threw on this same shirt and this same hat because we had shot this thing you know a while back in a little episode that we did. So I think what I'm going to try to do is take that footage because you know we already have it all shot but somehow try to make it flip because we did a few knives with it. So if there's weird cuts in there, then, you know, that's kind of the reason why. But then I'll come back at the end and I'll close this thing out. But hopefully the knife review turns out, you know, as good as I think that it's going to. But anyway, doing the same shirt to make the continuity seem like it's flowing. But anyway, guys, it's actually a pretty cool knife. Super smooth opening knife. Single, no, ah, dual thumb stud right there trailing point seems to be a pretty cool knife so let's dive into it and let's see what this thing's got aha this is a ciesco inspired knife right here simple folding knife with a trailing point blade let me give y'all close up on this thing this is a nice looking knife a really cool it's got the tiger like right here, it's the Tiger Tooth Edition, but that gold with those stripes right there makes it stand out. Got a quarter serration, three, four straight blade right there. And then right up here at the top, your bevels, your bevels, what am I talking about? Your jimping's right there at the top with your dual thumb studs. And right there, they're not in the handle, they're just incorporated into that blade. But I like look at that yeah. thumb ramp. It's super nice. I was feeling it earlier. You get a really so, nice, good feel to it. I think out of the all, you know, the three that we have, you can get the best control. Oh yeah, for sure. For this one, which makes you know the more handle, sense. It's right a very there. ergonomic type handle. Very easy. Feels really good in your hands. It's that G10, right? Yeah, this is the G10 nylon infused handle. But one cool thing about this handle, let me show you all this, is that right up here, I was looking, and you go, well, what in the world is that? You can take this pocket clip and move it right here. For, so for the lefties. lefties, and the handle is actually, you know, sweat. Like when you think of like your hand sweating, yeah, you're gonna still have a better grip. You know, let's just say you you gotta flip it open, work on something that's raining, you're sweating, you're doing whatever. You're still gonna be able to have a lot better control with this knife. And the the texture in there, you have a, it's almost like a sandpapery type of texture with those lines yeah. in there. Gives you really really good grip on there. Yeah, it does. This knife, man, I'm torn on which one I think looks cool. You know, they're all different. Yeah, they all have their different things. Definitely the best everyday carry out of the bunch. Yeah, well, and a cool thing about this end right here is you could use it as a glass breaker, but it could also be like a non-lethal yeah. type thing. So if you had it in a defensive stance, bam, you know, do what you got to do. You could jab with that. So that's a cool thing about it. However, I mean, flip it on out. It's not assisted. But those thumb studs seem to open it up really smooth. Yeah. Right here in this handle, you got your standard liner lock right there. Seems to be smooth. Your single hand deployment and your single hand close is not too bad. Yeah, I mean, overall, this thing's probably my favorite ADC out of the group. You know, that big cleaver knife is going to be more for your heavy duty type of work. And that uh, dragon knife right there is definitely going to be your best kind of show knife. Yeah. But I like this thing a lot. I definitely like the handle. You know, this G10 mile on infused had a really good feel to them. You know, you get those plastic handles sometimes. They feel kind of cheap. This thing, not at all. It feels super nice. And one thing I do really like about it are the uh, the finger grooves in here. It gives you a super good grip. Yeah. So, A plus for this knife so far. Yeah. So, what I tell you what, since we'll just keep the same pattern going, let's go ahead. Let's check out the sharpness on this knife. All right, guys. Let's get the sharpness on this thing right here. So, with a trailing point, I know the tip is going to be super sharp, but let's try this cut down. So, let's try it right here at an angle. And I like the fact that whew, it got it caught pretty good, but it was definitely some tearing right there as I finished out. Let's try the straight down. Straight down seems to do a, a little bit better, but there are a few tears right there in it. But it's actually sharper than what I thought. Now, let's test out this point. Not much push at all right there, which is, you know, understandable because of that trailing point. The cut down is the way to go. This is the best way to cut. Go ahead and get in with your trailing point. Now, a lot of times, you know, your trailing point is going to be more for stabbing and stuff. But once you get in there, 
whatever you have to work on is going to be fine. So trailing point plus right there on that tip. Throw this thing on a stone once or twice. You got yourself a pretty good blade. All right. So pretty sharp knife right here. That's probably the second sharpest one out of the bunch. Yeah, for sure. And I like the fact that they put the trailing point on there because the tip Very is sharp tip. super sharp. You know, you don't see a lot of simple EDCs with the trailing point. Yeah, usually you don't at all. But... Again, it's inspired by Ciesco, so it does have that cool look. To it. I like the gold look to it. Yeah. You know? And then this right here, the little cutout mm -hmm. here, you could also use the bend wire. No lanyard hole or anything, but if you had to, you could still you could, yeah. clip it there. But one thing about it is look at that. They tried to, oh, I guess, yeah. implement that belt clip all the way up, but it does have a deep little thing. Let me show you all right here. So I'm worried about this deep indention right here because it might fray your pocket. However, you see how I'm able to get my finger underneath it? It's not beefy enough to where it's just gonna be sitting on your pocket and you know you almost have yeah. to force it. This one's gonna be a little bit looser, maybe give, what would be the right word? It's not gonna, like if I were to hold this down and put something under it, you have more likely of a chance of fraying. Yeah. But with it being able to do that, I feel like it's gonna have a little bit better movability and one th yeah for sure maybe and in the pocket definitely let me see it i don't like how far up as you can see right here you've got a good half inch right here sticking up if they could yeah. have placed it farther down maybe to where there was maybe a quarter inch sticking out that'd be a lot better but want to go ahead and test out the pocket clips for these all these knives i tell you what yeah since we're talking about the pocket clips but i agree that it would be hard job. well it'd be hard to do you know yeah especially because you'd have this right here and it wouldn't like, fit in there right right but I do think if you're looking at it from a more concealed type look, you might have about, what is that, about a half inch? About half an inch, yeah. About a half inch out of your pocket. But who knows? So let's go ahead and let's see what this thing looks like in the pocket. Okay, let's see how this one fits in the pocket right here. So the simple slide in. Let's try the single hand. You know, that actually slid in rather nice. That pocket clip does allow it to move a little bit. I was worried that it might fray right there, but I can even, let me show y'all right over here. I can even get my thumb, or my thumb, my pointer, underneath that pocket clip. So that's not too bad at all. You know, a lot of times with the beefier ones, you might have trouble. So let's see the pull out right quick, bam. And there is no trigger, but open it up smooth, single hand close, and then right over here, push down. Boom. Now, with it curved back like this, you are going to have a little bit of that sticking out of the pocket. So I'm not too crazy about that. The print on it does have a good bit of print right there. Now, given again, this is a pair of khakis. However, I can single hand. Man, the thing pulls out nice. Slides in. Good. Pulls out. Open it up. Do what you got to do. And you're good to go. All right. So it wasn't too bad in the pocket. No. It actually slid in fine. And that you know, being loose like that, I'm not too worried about it fraying the pocket. But again, you are going to have about a half inch sticking out of your pocket. I didn't really like that as much. I mean, honestly, that's the only bad thing about the knife so far. I mean, the only thing I wish I could have done a little better, maybe I had a spring assist on there. But other than that, you know, it's a pretty nice little knife. And this smooth folding right there on it. Yeah. But I do like that. We got our CSGO knife right here. And it's sheath. You know, it's not too bad. It slides up and down a little bit too easily. Kind of wish it wasn't like that. Not bad, I guess. So also, pull out, let's see, catches a little bit. One thing you don't want to do, I'll show you over here, is slide it in with the uh, the pocket clip facing down. And also, you're gonna slide in that uh, the skinnier side first. It kind of catches on that pocket clip, so you kind of want to turn it around so the pocket clip is not facing the front. Slide it down, skinny side down, so you have the kind of the thicker part sticking out the top. Close it down the Velcro pretty good. And I guess, yeah, this one's not as bad because on the back, You've got two little pieces keeping it to where the belt's more secure, then there's more room to go up and down, which is not too bad. Concealability, uh, you can kind of see it. It's not too bad. I guess you kind of angled it out like that, but just walking like this, it's really not too bad. But you can definitely tell there is something right there. Open it up, pull it out, flip it around, and you are good to go. All right, let's get some measurements on this knife real quick. Let's see, fully open. Not quite nine inches, it looks like. Let's try to measure it from this side. About eight and three-fourths inches is really where you're going to be. So almost nine inches overall. 
blade is going to be a three and a half inch blade, but again, you have that one inch serration right there. And then fully closed, we're going to be looking at five and one fourth inches. So, you know, with it being a little bit heavier than I thought, this is still not bad measurements for this knife. All right, let's get the weight on this thing real quick. Wow. So it's a little bit heavier than I thought. Let's see if it balances out. Yeah, that might be a little bit of a heavier pocket knife with it sitting in your pocket. It's what? not bad at all, you know, that one does have that uh, plastic thing on there, so it's probably going to add a little bit extra weight. The knife overall is actually pretty nice, too. It's, you know, it's not an aluminum handle, so that G10 is going to make it a lot lighter with the plastic. Well, there you have it, guys. The Ciesco inspired Tiger Belly. Let me give you all a close-up right here. Again, this is a pretty cool looking knife and I'm using a different close-up camera than the one we did I actually have these things reversed so not sure if this close-up is gonna look as good but again it's got that reversible pocket clip again y'all didn't see this smashed finger in the other shots but you know just a pretty cool looking knife I like the design of the blade I like the trailing point style one fourth serration is my favorite because it does give you that option, but it's not taking total control or half control of the blade. And my favorite thing is how smooth this thing is. You know, your single hand deployment, your single hand close, you're not going to have a problem. But guys, if you want to go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Appreciate you watching. Hope you're subscribed, and I'll see y'all in the next one.